My name's Kara. My name is Hannah, and I live in Los Angeles. My name is Guillaume, or Guillaume. Gosh, am I 32 or 33? I live in Las Vegas. I'm 33. I am a Republican. I have two daughters. Danielle and Ariel is my little one. I am 64. I am a Republican as I have been since I was able to vote. Why did I vote for Trump? First, because I don't trust Hillary Clinton. I don't trust the politicians anymore. And I thought a businessman would be the answer. I voted for Trump. Number one reason is because he's not part of the establishment. Number two, uh, economic and foreign affair policies uh, resonated with me more than the other opponent. Well, the Republicans and the Democrats are kind of the same party, and that's what kind of drew me to Donald Trump. You know, he didn't play by the rules. Um, and the fact that, you know, he was scaring the Washington elite and both people on either side of the aisle were scared, um, I, I, that, you know, that, that is the reason I, I voted for him. Did I think he would have difficulty being taken seriously? At first, yes. Uh, that's the first thing that you think, you know. You think that people will not uh, take him seriously because of his TV status or whatever. Um, well, I didn't really grow up with Ronald Reagan as president, but I, I certainly had respect for him and, um, you know, he was an actor. Uh, as well. So I don't think that, um, I didn't think it was going to have too much effect on if people would take him seriously or not. It didn't bother me that he was a mega celebrity. I could see his work habits. I could see his work ethic. And I could, and I could see that he works a lot. And so it didn't have, um, an effect on my decision, so. Did I think he was going to kick out Muslims and build a wall with Mexico? Uh, well, at first, you know, I think, first of all, there's a difference between a president and a candidate. Uh, they have to uh, uh, go to the extremes with their point of view, you know? I believe in the positive messages he has to say about building a wall and about building a safer country for us. Basically, um, if he, a lot of what he was saying, like building a wall with Mexico and kicking up Muslim and all this stuff, a lot of the way it was presented to us was taken out of context. Look, you know, we came here for a reason. Uh, well, when I came to United States, I came to work. I do believe him. I, I believe the things he said. Uh, and, and, you know, he has a pretty big ego. I almost think his ego is too big to fail. So maybe I am not uh, as sensible as other people to these issues, but uh, we we came to work. We came for a, a specific uh, reason to the U.S. Let me clarify for a minute because if a person is here uh, illegally and they are uh, committing crimes and getting away with it and collecting the benefits, then absolutely, absolutely, I think that person should be depor deported and asked to leave. But, you know, I mean, I, I am, I'm an immigrant myself. I came here when I was 17. I came here to work. And, I mean, if, you know, you consider getting a speeding ticket, uh, breaking the law, that's the, this is the worst that I have done. And I, you know, I absolutely don't believe that 
we should be helping people who are, you know, just freeloading or, you know, hanging out and not working uh, and just, you know, waiting for someone else to pay their way. And I don't want to see, I don't want to say that people should be afraid of us, but I feel like if other countries have a little bit of fear in us, um, then I think it's kind of a good thing, um, you know, and so that's kind of what I'm looking forward to uh, with Trump as president, and I'm hoping he'll do the things that he, he said he would. Over the next four years, the following changes would be great. I would like to see the whole healthcare issue taken care of. I, I would like to see things safer. I mean, I do have a big fear living in a city like Dallas. Um, you know, like going to the mall. Um, there's these a lot of well, there's a lot of lone wolf attacks. And um, so that's a big concern of mine. Over the next four years, I would like to see if a, if a campaign promise is made that at least we're going to work on it. Um, not loving Obamacare, um, mainly because it's a, uh, I'm disappointed in it. Um, our premiums got to the point where uh, they were so high they were higher than the mortgage on our house. I feel that we uh, are owed uh, promises if they were made. In 2008, when, well, when the Affordable Care Act um, started, I was paying $120 a month, and I was told that um, I could continue paying that. And then all of a sudden, I was paying $420 a month. It, it should be, uh, Affordable Health Care Act should be affordable for all. I ended up uh, le having less health care choices um, so others could have uh, more health care choices. And if it's affordable for some, it should be affordable for all. It is, it's, it says it's an Affordable Care Act. Our national debt is almost $20 trillion, which is double under Obama. At least if a uh, promise is made, uh, you uh, have to be held accountable for it. Um, I'm Jewish, so uh, foreign affairs help with Israel. That was another big decision maker for me as far as um, choosing him as a candidate. I am all for Affordable Care Act being helpful for everyone, but it has to be helpful for everyone. It cannot just be benefiting certain people. It has to work for me and my family. My favorite color. Hmm. That is a good question. I know nothing's gonna happen with the social issues. Um, he said that whatever laws have been passed, they, that's been done with. Oh, my favorite color. Um, my favorite color is navy. Um, it's just always been something I've been really drawn to and there's so much navy in my house. Um, I can't really explain it. I just, I just love it. My favorite color. Basque, uh, blue. Why? Why? Because it's a, uh, it's a dark blue. I like a dark blue. Oh, uh, my favorite color. I've been so preoccupied with my daughter's favorite colors that I, I would say green, because I love life and everything new and and fresh in life that grows is green so i would say green